All right, I think we're live. Here we go. Sorry I was late. Let me check Instagram, tell everyone the stream's live on Instagram. Shoot, I forgot to previously get that message out. Um, all right, that should be good. We should be live. Hey, Octoblox, welcome. Welcome, you're the first to join the stream. We're going to be playing some From the Depths today. You know, one thing I've always wondered about my, uh, my streams is that the video quality says 720p. But, um, problem with that is that if you, when I look back, when I was looking at back at some of my streams to make highlight videos, what happened was it sort of, what's the word, like, it was pixelated when I was moving. Like, if it was a still image, it would catch up, but, like, if I was moving at all, like, when I was playing Minecraft or something, if my character moved, it would just completely degrade the image, and I don't know if there's a way for it to not do that, because I tried to optimize it for the settings that I had, but I, I don't know if that worked. I don't think it did. Uh, well, oh well, um, I made, I'm, uh, I'm mainly waiting for Akashi and King to get on, because they were the ones who wanted to play, me to play this. Right now I'm just piloting a little helicopter. I'm gonna try, try to land it on this helipad over here, because that ship is brand new, that is the Selevsky class missile cruiser. And I haven't even tried out its weapons yet, its, we its weapons are unproven. I've only landed a helicopter on this thing once, manually, so let's see. Let's see if I can do that or not. Because this, this helicopter can't go backwards. Which is probably a big problem, but oh well. Can't overshoot because I have to constantly adjust all six axes of movement. And going forward points the nose down. Alright. Drop off throttle. Pull up, pull up, and off, off. Alright. There we go. Smooth landing. Didn't even damage anything. Hell yeah. That was the best landing I've gotten. Of two, but yeah. The other one, I slightly damaged it. So yeah, I, I'd say I'm not a bad pilot, you know? I don't think I'm that bad of a pilot. Anyway, here, let me climb up here and start exploring around on this missile frigate. How many missiles do we even have? Alright, um, hey Edwin, welcome to the stream. I just landed this helicopter on the missile cruiser. Like a, like a glove. Like, that was a perfect landing, I was so happy with that. But, um... So yeah, this is a brand new missile frigate right here. I based it off of the American Ticonderoga class. Or, actually, I don't know if it's the Ticonderoga class, I'm not sure. But, um, I think there was also another ship I had to design on for. There's a game called Brick Hill, you said? Never heard of it. Uh, oh shoot, I forgot to have this thing back up. I want to make sure I have the Discord up in the background. But Yeah, so the front was really heavy, so I had to strap a bunch of propellers to the front. <laughs> kind of ruins the immersion a little bit, but if it keeps, I, if it keeps the ship upright... I don't want to give you all a full tour of this thing until I have um, Akashi and King, so I, 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 told the, I told Instagram the stream was up, but I don't know if they're gonna get on or not. I guess until then I'll just keep up with announcements while rock, walking around the ship, but um, yeah, I, uh, good news. For, for no reason, I don't know if the app auto-updated or something, but Instagram completely fixed itself for me. Like. I can actually receive notifications and messages in um, Instagram now. Instead of me having to reload the app every time, just it's instant. It's how it's supposed to work now. So that, that makes me really happy. Uh, how many missiles do I have in this section of the bank? So I have four, four, four. So that's 12. And then we have the four large ones right here. These are the main battery of the ship. So that's 16. And then... They, these are anti-missile missiles, but again, all the all the systems on the ship are unproven. Ugh. 
What what an entrance, King. Freaking uh take me on or take on me by uh by Shit. It's uh aha. Uh -huh. Take on me by aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the name for a second. I I guess you could say I had an aha uh -huh moment. <laughs> Kill me now. But anyway. So, um Yeah, so King's here. But yes, this is the Selesky class missile frigate, and I, I actually managed to manually land this helicopter on the helicopter deck I built in the back right here. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. I think I'm starting off the stream by giving you a full tour of the ship, and y'all are going to help me put it through sea trials. This ship has not fired a shot. None of its weapon systems are proven. So... It's, it's, I know, I'll, I'll save the other thing for later, dude. I'll save it for later. First, I gotta crack one open. Here, as a consolation, cracking one open. Where's my, where's my koozie? I got this little school koozie right here. I should have put the koozie on at, before I opened the soda, but oh well. Uh, Adams of Sundays, oh wait. I don't know what song that is. I don't know what song that is, Edwin. But yeah, I just built this ship in the last few days. Um, it's really rushed. I've never done a modern design like it. Oh, you said the song is Teeth by Five Sus. <laughs> I, I read that as Five Sus. <laughs> or Five Sauce. Like a freaking YouTube poop. That's how I read it. But no. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I went overboard on the detection systems. It has too many detection systems. There's too much redundancies. In fact, um, I could probably get rid of this active radar and replace it with... Oh shit, did that mess up the helicopter? Yep, that knocked the helicopter off the deck. Uh, rip. <laughs> helicopter down. <laughs> uh, let's see. For now, I'll just replace it with uh, a slow block here. I'll make it an alloy block. I want to keep the weight in the front off. Uh, but yeah, this ship has a little too many detection systems. Let me save that updated version of the design. Um, here, uh, I'll tell you this. King, for the first part of the stream, I'll be single player. And then for maybe the second half of the stream, I'll go to multiplayer. Because for the first half of the stream, I want to test out the ship and work out the kinks. Oh, you have to go? What do you, what do you need to do? So yeah, helicopter overboard, oops. I think, yeah, the helicopter is armed with 220 caliber, um, or no, 250 caliber Orlikans and uh, three missiles, so yeah. But this ship, I'll show you all the armament of the, uh, yeah, I call it the Yalevsky, it's the Silevsky, I think. Yeah, yeah, the Silevsky. You got a poem you gotta do. Alright, alright, fair enough. Rip. <laughs> that and then that leaves I think Octu blocks. Oh well. Let's see. Alright, so the first thing I'll test out is the main gun. Let's spawn a ship I can test the main gun on. How about the Not the granite. The granite sinks too easily. The Koryu. We'll spawn in the Koryu class oiler. And use that as a target boat. Oh, all right. Well, if you, I understand that you gotta listen, or you gotta keep it. Um, but again, the last poem I ever wrote was a eulogy for the U1 in this game because I, it got sunk in the campaign, and I got bored one night, and I felt sad that the ship sunk. So this little submarine right here, this is the one I'm trying to get 3D printed. I'm having a friend who's trying to 3D print this, but this submarine I wrote a poem for. A eulogy for its death. She's a good girl though. She she's a good girl. She served me well. I miss her very much. Died in the last battle against the Deepwater Guard. It's good too. We only have four submarines in that battle. Four four of these. Actually, one of them was a larger design, a larger sub sub design. But um this one had drawn fire from all the enemy aircraft. They shot down all the enemy aircraft and destroyed the aircraft carrier that launched them. 
these four subs, and they destroyed the aircraft using only their deck guns. Only the deck guns. But, um, while they were underwater, too. But, um, sadly, the U-1 took an explosion in its forward, um, uh, forward torpedo tubes and did not survive the battle. Poor girl. Someone give you a topic? Well, <laughs> I don't know. We're playing this game, so write it, write it about, I don't know, write it about a submarine. Like I did. You know what? Screw it. I'm reading the, I'm reading what I wrote. I'm reading it. There's nothing y'all can do to stop me. Where's where's the eulogy? Um, I think put it in the ship breakdowns tab. All right. <clears throat> the eulogy for the U1. The first gray wolf to slip the waves, a watery glimmer in her eyes. Like a bat, she hunts her prey, bares her teeth into the skies. And at the pirate's final stand, her wolf pack in her steps, the flintlock bullet pierced her hide, she sleeps under the depths. Hell yeah. It's it's very short, but oh well. I don't write poems. I don't know. I, I don't write poems, so. <sighs> anyway, let me despawn this one so it doesn't get caught in the crossfire. Now let's test out the main gun of this ship. This is a twin 5 inch gun. Actually, how many inches is this gun? I don't know. I think 118, so it's less than that. Actually, let me look that up. 118 millimeter to inches. That is a 4.6 inch gun, so that's not a 5 inch gun. Welcome back, Eric. Um, I am on, I'm playing from the depths, and I am, I just read a, a eulogy. And I just read, read out a eulogy for a submarine that I lost during the campaign in this game. This is the designer, but I had read a poem that I wrote for a submarine I lost. I know, it's weird, but I felt like it, so there's no, nothing anyone could have done to stop me at that point. So now, this ship is brand new right here. This is a missile frigate that I had just designed. Because I'm not good at modern designs, you know? This is my first modern design. And I want to see... And since this ship hasn't had any of its weapons tested, I want to test them out. So let's see. This is the uh, main armament besides the missiles, which is a, four, a twin 4.6 inch gun. So let's see how much damage it does. I think it's Hesh. And it's a fast firing Hesh as well. Oh, wow, we hit something important. Um, looks like it does have a decent cooldown time, but it is more quick-firing than any of the other main armaments I've made. Actually, we ready for one more barrage? Yep, oh, one hit took out that gun, alright. Yes, this is decently powerful. Um, even though for, it's a, mainly because of the hash, but, uh... Yes, we do, uh, mainly because we hit some, uh, ammo, you know? We hit some critical parts there. But it did a decent chunk of change right there, and... Uh, in the, in the wise words of Phil Swift, Now that's a lot of damage! How about a little more? Alright, so let me repair the ship for now. I still need to use it as a test target. We know the main armament works. What is this one's main armament? 179 millimeters. What's that? 179, um... Um, meter, millimeters to inches. That is a seven inch gun. <laughs> I strapped on a little cargo ship. I strapped a seven inch gun. <laughs> oh boy. Yay. It's a feisty little gun right there. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, it also has a large, this ship has a decent anti-aircraft complement. It has uh, four 50 caliber, uh, yeah, sorry, four 50 caliber Orlikans, which are pretty small, but they work in a pinch. Um, it has some op, it has an octuple uh, pom pom gun, which I know that's World War II era and it's not the best, but it's a pretty heavy anti aircraft armament. Friday is the only day you'll go to school a week. Why? 
Oh, also, the only reason I'm streaming tonight is because my class tomorrow morning has canceled, so I only have a tomorrow afternoon class, so I can sleep in. And that means I can stream late. Oh, I forgot to extend my keyboard. I have to extend this out right here so I can make sure my, my face is more in frame. But, um, but yeah, since I don't have a class tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be up later tonight doing stuff. <laughs> Although I am assigned a lot more work. We also have some other 40 millimeter guns right here, some Bofors in the back. But, um, and we have a 3.7 inch gun. Hello Robert, welcome back. I am showing off this missile frigate and then we're going to test out its weapons. We've already tested out the main gun. The main gun does a pretty good chunk of change in damage. Boom. That's a pretty good main gun right there. But, um... So now, the, let's see this anti-aircraft armament in, in full. What's an anti-aircraft broadside look like here? Oh, that activated the missiles. Alright, oops. Yeah, the missiles are the... Eh, did I say that wrong? The missiles are the main ar armament of this ship. I am really having trouble saying words. <laughs> but I'm doing great, Robert. How are you? How are you? Um... But one thing I- the main armament of this ship is its missile batteries. It has four very large missiles here in the back. These are like I, almost ICBMs, pretty much. Not really, but I just say that because that's a- that's a fun name. They're not- they're not intercontinental at all, but they're big missiles. They're pretty thick boys right here. It's kind of hard to see them, but they're thick. Um, they're dummy thick. And then this is the main, uh, smaller missile battery. These are, um, EMP warheads, and we also have fragmentation warheads. Hmm, why does only one of them- does the other side have mostly- Ah, oh, it has a divide. Alright. Oh, you just 100 did um, RDR2? Nice. I haven't played RDR2. I've only played a little bit of one, because it was at a friend's house when I was really young, but I've never tried to- How is it? I mean, it's probably good if you 100%ed it, so... But, yeah. Edward says, I had the flu and a virus, and I finally got over it, but your mom wants to make sure your temperature's fine. Oh, so that's why you're not at school. Well, the, the only bad thing about that is when I was really sick, I think once, they just, I got so much homework afterwards. Like, all that work, it comes back to bite you in the arse. But, um... Did I say arse? I'm not British. It comes back to bite you in the ass. I'm sorry. I'm not British, but, um, yeah, this is the main, we have 12 missiles on each side, so that's a 24 missile small battery, and then we have four larger ones, so that's a pretty good missile battery, and then we also have these in the front, but these are anti-missile missiles. These are missiles that are meant to shoot down enemy missiles. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna work, it's, that's what they're doing in theory, but we haven't tested them out, we're gonna test them out. You said, it's sad everyone just dies. Rip. Well, that, I know that was somewhat like the ending to one, but is that also the ending for two? Because if so, that sucks. Also, I think I built this, um, this landing pad too, too at the waterline. <laughs> it's getting kind of swamped right there. I just looked at, like, the American Ticonderoga class, and I'm like, oh, they have a downward sloped little helicopter pad, so I should have that. <laughs> But, um, the main thing about this, it also, these chain guns right here, these are meant to shoot down missiles. These are anti-missile chain guns, so they will not fire on enemy aircraft. They will fire on enemy missiles. I want this thing to be impervious to missile fire, or as close as it can be. And these are lasers. These are laser munitions that will try to shoot down missiles. And other things, like cannon fire shells. But I don't, I don't know if it will. We'll see. You go from a group of 20 to 5 in 5 minutes. Well, don't spoil too much for me. I may want to play it. But, um, sounds to me like that was a botched robbery right there. Hmm. Oh, you're back? Alright, welcome back. But yeah, I have three of these anti-missile, uh, chain gun turrets right here. One here. Uh, this is our main detection suite. We also have some backup detection systems. Maybe a little too much. We also have some sonar detection down here. Along with these giant fans that help keep the bow up. <laughs> Alright, so. One thing. I need to fix something. Because uh, one of these accidentally has missiles attached to it. So let me make sure all these missile batteries are connected to the same weapon numbers. 
because if not, that would be a mistake. So these are all. I don't want these to be slot all. Where's the other ones? This one is slot three. This one is... Where's the other one? Three. So these other ones in the middle, they need to be slot three. Slot three. Slot three. So that should help a little bit. Let's save the ship. And what are these? These are slot 5. The, so when I hover over slot 5, that should be the anti-chain gun armament. It is. It is the anti-chain gun. Yes, that is the anti-chain gun ar armament. Wait, did I say anti-chain? You all know what I meant. The anti-missile chain gun ar armament. And these are part of the regular complement. The rest is anti-aircraft. This is the only anti-surface gun right here. Because modern ships don't have many anti-surface guns. I mean, I don't like it because I like the cool look of surface guns, but oh well. <clears throat> tomorrow, you're, you're being a pro gamer tomorrow, it seems. Let me head to the bridge. Where's the bridge? Here it is. I have an expansive bridge. Look inside of this bridge. <laughs> I have an expansive bridge. That's like the USS Ranger, am I right? If you looked at a picture of the US, USS Ranger, her, her, her bridge was quite large. <laughs> um, the Doctor of Poop. Uh, you. I see the the negotiator. But yeah, I have a little map here, like a chart table. And this is like a little war room or whatever. And then we head down inside. The ship's fully walkable. So inside of this part, we have like, I don't know what I'm doing with this space. It's almost like a ballroom, but I, it's just a main blank empty space for now. And then this goes out onto the deck. Wait, how come you're the doctor of poop and not the chancellor of poop? Who's going to be the poop chancellor? But, um, and we have this little tower. It's meant to be exhaust. But the exhaust is purely decorational because the actual onion, it, onion? Did I say onion? This is now an Onision video. Anyway, um, <laughs> the actual engine exhaust is right here because here is the primary engine. We also have some further up right here. These are backup engines. There are a lot of redundancies. Anyway, actually, um, where's the, again, I need to go back up to the bridge because we need to wipe out that helicopter. Oh, shoot. I forgot when I manually aim the weapons, a lot of them shoot into the ship, so I have to be careful to not do that. So I'll get rid of this. Let's spawn in an enemy ship, or an enemy aircraft, and see if we can take out their missiles. You gotta listen to the song Cradles. Well, what, what genre is it? Will I even like it? What genre? Uh... This, this ship's kind of thick on the top. If I look at a profile of it, this, this center area here is pretty large. It's a thick boy. Here, let's spawn a few things to test this against. Let's go to the aircraft. How about a simple one? The Wallaby CF. Let's try it against three of these aircraft and their missile complement. This is a missile aircraft, right? Yes, it is. So they blew up one of them. When are they launching their missile complement? Oh yeah, I forgot I set them to launch their missiles within a certain time. So yeah, um, these are meant to be carrier launched aircraft and as a result to prevent them from launching their missiles into the aircraft carrier. I had them uh, wait to fire their weapons until 8 seconds after. So I'm going to have to spawn a larger amount of them. Or I can spawn a different aircraft. What should I spawn? How about the auto drones? The auto drones, they're hil hilariously ugly and pudgy, but they launch instantly. It's an alternative. Alright, I'll pull it up. I can't play anything this stream, but I'm going to look it up, I guess, for myself. Alright. 
what was it, cradled? Alright, let's see. Can our anti-missile complement work? I don't think it's working. Oh, yes, it's working! Oh, oh, actually, a lot of missiles are getting through now. But, um, also, why are these not firing? Why is this not launching? Oh, they are. Eh, they kind of work. The anti-missile batteries kind of work. But I realize a flaw in them. The flaw of the anti-missile missile batteries are um, that they fire too quickly, and their reload is too long, so I need to stagger the fire. Oh. I will admit, um, also, Edwin, I'm listening to this song right now, and I will admit, I now recognize it because I heard it in a bunch of really bad commercials for something. And since I don't like the thing that the song, the, the advertisement that the song was tied to, it kind of ruins my, like, impression of the song. Like, I don't hate the song, it's just I can't get the advertisement it was associated with out of, like, I can't separate the two. And I'm, that, like, predispositions me against the song. It's weird. It's just the, the chorus of that, it just reminds me, it gives me PTSD, if you know what I mean. So this thing took a lot of damage here. Um, the bridge took some damage too, but I did try to layer some of the lighter armor on the superstructure, and the damage the ship did sustain is not as bad as I thought it would be. The main thing I was worried about is the damage to these anti-batteries right here. However, uh, they did do damage. I believe that was from EMP. So, the, this system right here. I may have to install shields on these systems that activate once the, um... Yeah, I think I'll do that. So, let's, let's take this out. Let's repair the ship, and let's put in the replacement adjustments that I'm going to try to do. This is why you do sea trials, people. This is why you do sea trials. And weapon trials. Yep, there are always improvements you can make to your designs. So I did put uh, shields on some vital areas like detection and the main gun. So I'm going to also put these um, these sort of shield systems on this as well. The anti-laser batteries, or anti-missile shields, I don't know. Uh... Now, before I adjust them, I have to make a slight adjustment to this as well. Because I can't see the shield until I can put it up. And yes, I know shields aren't, um, like, a real thing yet. Like, but, you know, since it's from the depths and I have to have this ship fight against other ships that also use shields, I might as well. And it's sideways. Why is it sideways? How many times have I been to the gym? I just got that message. I, I literally just received a me message saying how many times I've been to the gym. Um, this semester, I think three or four. I need to get that- I need to get out there more. But, um, I have been doing a lot of stuff in my room. I have some weights in my room. I do my core workout in my room. And, um, I do ride my bike a lot, but I also do need to go to the gym more often. Yeah. I have been ma maintaining my weight, though. I at least uh, work with dieting to maintain my weight. I don't have any specific goal with that sort of thing, but as long as I don't gain anything from when I enter college. That's pretty much my goal, and I've been keeping that goal so far, so pretty good. You've been once and you got sick. Alright. As one does. <laughs> no, you're fine. 
You know, I don't really have too many goals with that sort of thing. I mostly save cardio for when I go to the gym because I'm not comfortable with going to the, the weights and stuff they have in the gym. But, um, plus they're always full because there's just people there all the time. And I, since I have my own equipment in my room, I'd figure I'd just do most of the cardio while I was at the gym. Oh, hey, Spooky. Welcome back. Welcome to the stream, Spooky. We are altering this missile carrier and we're doing sea trials for it. It's brand new. I mean, it doesn't look brand new because it just got through a battle and we repaired it. But, yeah. So we do have that. How much strength do I want to give the shield? Uh, then we'll give it five. It's gonna take up a choose some power, but yeah, we'll see. Now let's copy this. Copy that. I may have to work with the power usage as well on the ship because it's I don't know how balanced it is right now. So we now have shields on the um, anti-missile lasers, and they work. The anti-missile lasers work pretty well, but um, if they're overwhelmed, they can be overwhelmed, and that's why I need the other battery. Hey, hey, King, we've been working out. I just had this um, ship go through a mock battle against some aircraft with missiles, and it did shoot down a lot of the missiles with these lasers here. I have anti-missile lasers, but they're they're small. They're small systems. And they got knocked out, so I just installed some um, shields on them. So let me adjust how the shields spawn. Make it to where they only spawn when it detects enemies. So there's the new shield systems. And another thing, I need to increase the stagger on the anti-missile missiles. Because they fire too quickly. Where, where is this? Um, I had the the system. Here it is, staggered fire. I wanted to wait 1.5 seconds in between launch. And then hopefully that will be enough to stagger it to hit the missiles. Uh, 1.5. You're gonna check out a VR game? Well, what VR game is it? Shit, did I save this in the aircraft? Yep, I accidentally saved it in my aircraft folder. Oops. Well, I guess I'll delete that later. Oof. Also, <laughs> Havana, okay. Thank you for posting. And then, and then immediate, immediately, it, I can't speak. Immediately after, Edwin just corrupts it with the freaking minion stuff. Half my nukes are in Havana. Thank you, Soviet Union, very cool. Oh yeah, I used a few mimic blocks for these little strut things, just because they look cool. But, I don't know, I'm not too comfortable with Mimics. They're just time-consuming. I think Mimics are way too time-consuming. It took me much longer than I wanted to, to, to give me these simple-looking strut things. Oh well. But yeah. Okay, another thing I want to test. I didn't know if these um, assault cannon, these anti-missile assault cannons worked. I saw that this system works. The anti-missile uh, anti laser works. Uh, the anti-missile missiles work, they just need to fire fire quicker. Wait, what do you mean by? I thought you wanted me to stream from the nose, dude. Bruh. Bruh. Also, where's Akashi? See, she said she wanted this too. Um, Alright, I think we're ready for a second test run, but this time I'm gonna watch the guns and see if the anti-missile guns fire. All right, test two, here we go. I'll spawn three of the same drones as last time. I think there were autos. Let's spawn two autos. See if they can withstand the amount of missiles being lobbed at them and also deal out damage against the enemy. Um... Alright, I'm checking out these chain guns. Are the chain guns going to fire? Yes, they are firing. <laughs> They're working somewhat. Oh, no, we're still getting hit. 
Um, we're still getting hit, but we did knock out a, a decent amount of the enemy missiles. He said, so I used to live in Turkey, and everyone always looked the same, so I went over... Oh, so I'm sorry, I, I always locked my... That's the lyrics. What what song is that? What, what song is that? I thought you were being serious at first, but no, it's just lyrics. Or, wait a minute, those aren't lyrics, are they? Are they lyrics? Are you... It's not lyrics, you actually... You actually used to live in Turkey, so it was hard for you to find your mom in the store? Is that what you're saying? Because at first it, it, it sounded like lyrics, but I don't think those are lyrics, actually. I had a, I had a bro moment. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, I didn't know that. You, you learn something new every day. Huh. So ideally, I kind of want the ship to come with a helicopter and launch a helicopter. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. That's the thing. You know, let's just mess around. Let's mess around and see if we can get this dream a reality. We'll start with the docking station. Is this in the middle? I want the docking station to be in the middle of the craft. Oh, this may have to mean... Uh, yes. So this is the middle right here. I'm stuck in the middle with you. Whatever that song is. But, um... Then I can put in a sub-vehicle spawner. And sub-vehicle. Yep. Mm. And then at this point, I'll do a Fokker gy gyro wagon. Jaro Wagon. <laughs> That's the name for my one working um, helicopter right there. Fokker Jaro Wagon. So, at this point, then let me get into the ship and then we'll select it. Fokker Jaro Wagon, apply, activate. And, yeah. So that brought it into position. I do kind of need it to be off, though. Let's have it be held further down. I kind of want it facing backwards, though. Hmm. You know what? We'll have it facing sideways. That's not sideways. That isn't either. I don't know if that's possible. It may be stuff like this. Let's just do this right now. Now, what I don't know is why it keeps bouncing. Why does it keep bouncing? Can I stop it? Yeah, why does it keep, like, spazzing out like that? It's just the helicopter's having a seizure. That doesn't look healthy. I don't think that's normal. I don't see the helicopter. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, planes don't do that. <laughs> hmm. I detect a problem with this. What if I tried one of these a little further up? What if I tried here? What if I stole it from this one? Alright, that has it sideways. And lower it down. I know it would be kind of off center, but I guess that's fine. It's still having a seizure, mind you, but uh, I guess that's slightly more workable in this situation. I just don't want it to clip. We'll hold it up at 10 meters. And then we have to combine the two. So the gyro wagon is part of it. I 
Actually, before I do this, I'm going to get rid of it. No, I don't want to get rid of the ship. I want to get rid of the wagon. And I want to save just the ship. Not see ability made by dodge a bullet. Is that from a specific game? That shit. So here's that. And then we spawn it in. No, I don't want mod sailing ships. That's not good. I don't want to spawn a freaking split ship. Ooh, this ship is uh, 179k. That's pretty expensive. Oof. So if I go into main aircraft, how much is the gyro wagon? 7,000. It's 7k resources. Select. Apply. Select beam. Uh, 77 degrees. It's still having a spasm, but oh well. Makes it a little hard for the, uh, the door gunner here to have an accurate shot, but oh well. Okay, let me try climbing inside. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this would be appropriately usable. And then I'll select them, and then combine them as a fleet. And I'll have this one be put as a sub sub spawn. Confirm. There we go. And now I'll save this as a copy. Missile frigate. Fuck it. Plus chopper. And chopper. Can I not put the and symbol? Nope, I can't put the and symbol. Here, I'll save it as a separate design. And there we go. So, what if we spawn this against... Oh, I need it to release vehicles as well. Dang it. I, I know this is a boring technical part, but I have to put in specific code using automatic control blocks, and then that needs to release and recall the plane when there is an enemy nearby. So this one is... Actually, I'll just copy this effect. So if there's an enemy, it will tell the... Spin blocks, no, it will tell the uh, control, where's control? Docking stations to release the vehicles. Yeah. And so if there's an enemy, it will release. Haste. If there's an enemy, it will recall. And then I press invert. So if there's no enemy, it will recall. So that should do it. And I'll save the design. Now let's see if this works. Let's spawn it against two enemy aircraft. How about... Hmm. How about some enemy helicopters this time? Some helicopter on helicopter action. So where's their their uh, ones? There we go. So three enemy helicopters versus our helicopter and our missile frigate. Let's see if we can how many missiles of theirs we can take out and how many of their enemy helicopters we can take out. So we've released our own helicopter. And the shots are being fired, and we are disabling them. Yep, our, we're shredding we're shredding them. Although our missiles are having a hard time hitting the last copter, but that's what the anti-aircraft guns have done. All right, 
I think we're doing good. We've taken a little bit of damage, but not much. Less than 1% of damage. And then, now that enemies are destroyed, it recalls the helicopter. Yes. Yeah, this thing works pretty well. I like it. It works way better than I thought it would. Did I actually make a competent design for once? Uh, uh yes, yeah. A bouncy helicopter is still bouncy, though. This deserves a... A victory crisp. Whatever the heck these the things are called. Rice cakes? I don't know. This deserves a victory rice cake. Sorry, the plastic... Uh, plastic sounds. And it broke off. We'll eat a little bit of it. Crunch. Yeah. Three oh four. What do you mean three oh four? All right. I want to do another test. Also against auto drones. Let's see how the ship fares against two auto drones with its helicopter. So they're immediately firing missiles. And we are sending out some anti-missile systems. Taking out some of them. But a, a few of them did manage to slip by. And we did take them out. And they did not manage to damage our helicopter. What is 304 upside down? I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? What? Did you mean the two A's? Oh, you're asking me what? Well, that's not nice. Why would you call someone that? Bleh. Bleh. Alright, what drugs are you on, and if so, can, I, can you pass me some? Do you have any extra? Actually, I should put a thing here. I don't know. we go. Let me spawn a ship to do a size comparison. Where's the DB? So this one's a similar cost, a little bit more expensive. But it's much longer. So that's that's not my design. That's King. So his ship is longer and more expensive. And mine is slightly more compact. Some anti-missile systems I see. That's his anti-missile defense. He has a smaller anti-missile defense. I know, I do. He has a larger, I have a smaller. Hmm. Those are EMP missiles. That's an anti-missile detection system right there. He has some lifeboats in the back. And he has a laser cannon, alright.
Yeah, I mean, the only thing, the main difference between our ships is that his is designed to maximize the interior space, and mine, on the other hand, does not. Mine, again, my main des philo design philosophy is to have the entire interior be walkable no matter what, unless it's like a tiny airplane or something. But, um, that's why I have hatches everywhere. I want you to be able to go to every corner of the ship. And yeah, it's not extremely efficient. You know, I could extend this anti-missile armament. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's extend- actually, hmm. If y'all want, I can do that later. This is saved, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll destroy it for now. Oh yeah! I have this thing. This thing. I remember this ship. I got bored one day. Sorry if you fall asleep, you haven't slept in a while. That's fine. That's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. I'm just mainly confused because King wanted to see this mostly, but he left. And I don't know why. So this thing is a passenger earth ship that I designed a while back. It uses only helium. Entirely helium. But, um, yeah, and, and it's, of course it's a passenger airship, so it's walkable. Up here, is, this is the crew quarters, actually. No, th yeah, this is the crew quarters. Crew cabin, stuff like that. And when you get to this part of the ship, this is the main passenger part of the ship. I just noticed there's no entrance or an exit to this ship, oh well. But yeah, these are uh, passenger cabins on this side. In here, there's a little lounge, and, um, yeah, and it has, like, a piano right here, and it has some tables for gaming, and those are, like, slot machines. And, and then this is a restaurant, and you can look down at the water below, this is glass, so it's, like, a glass-bottom restaurant, with windows on the sides and stuff. And then here's an observation deck at the very back, and with this massive observation area right here. Oh, you said World War II blimp? Yeah, it looks like it. And it, it uses propellers. Its elevation stays pretty constant, though. You know, I should blow this thing up. Let's blow it up. I know just the way to do it, too. We'll shove ammo stuff all the way here. Just press F to fill the area. Or, or press F to pay respects, which I'm gonna have to do anyway. This will obviously make it harder for the ship to stay up, because now there's a bunch of ammo in some of the space where helium was. But it won't matter. <laughs> Alright. So now we've set this thing off. Almost. We're ready to. If I set it off right now, it will kill me. Yeah, it'll probably kill me. Let's get out of the ship first, and then we'll set it off. Let's look at the fireworks here. Three, two, one. Oh, actually, here we go. Boom. Now that's propulsion right there. Boom. <laughs> Is it gonna rip the entire bottom off the ship? Maybe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Almost. There's a little bit left in the front. Wait, what if I completely shear off the front? Yep. Then which part is the real one then? Okay, the bottom part's the real one. And then the top part just completely dislodges. Nope, nope. The top part's the real part. Alright. The car the cargo, or the crew cabin is completely just glitching. Oh god, it's a glitchy mess. It's so much of a glitchy mess. 
But yeah, it's just disintegrating right now. I don't think that's how airships work. You know, I'm getting really excited. I hope they add a fire system and hydrogen pumps, where hydrogen pumps work better than helium, but then they can explode violently. I would like that. The devs also want a fire system, but they've got no one to design it right now because they don't know how. That would be cool though if you could like set get heated shot and set enemy ships on fire. That would be cool. Like if you were in a sailing ship. You know, let's have a sailing ship battle. Where are my sail ships? Age of sail. Let's have a sailing ship battle. Let's set up a situation. So let's say a cargo sloop is being protected by a sloop of war and a heavier ship, a grenadier. So it's being protected by this small task force right here. And then they've been intercepted. They've been intercepted by an enemy force consisting of... Uh, an ironclad. Ooh, I built this ironclad too. Let's have this be a battle of... Um, so... We have an ironclad here, and it has an escort vessel of um, a Farlow class frigate. Alright, so this ironclad and this frigate have intercepted a, a sloop, a cargo sloop, carrying vital cargo and supplies, as well as its escorting third class, which this is bigger than a frigate, I think. It's a third rate. So let's see who wins this engagement right here. Alright. Oh, you said that there's a cure for the coronavirus? Well, okay, one thing I didn't understand, is it THE coronavirus or A coronavirus? Because I've heard, because so, doesn't corona mean I? And hasn't there been something like this in the past before? I, I remember hearing something like that. Because I thought maybe there had been other coronaviruses in the past? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just crazy talk, but... Okay, so we while the ships are closing in range, they're firing their chase guns at the enemy, which they don't have very much of. Oh, these two ships are getting dangerously close to hitting each other. But the ironclad has a heavier armament and can shoot some of it at the enemy. Uh-oh, yeah, these ships may accidentally hit each other. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, it hit the frigate by accident. This isn't good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Why is the ironclad doing this? Now the ironclad- it can't bring its guns to bear. Oh, well, no, it brought its, uh, scuttle gun to, to bear, but it- and, and the scuttle gun did knock out part of the, uh, mast of this ship. Oh, shit. Oh, there's an explosion that destroyed most of this frigate. Oof, this, this side knocked out its own frigate, mostly. Although it's still floating. Oh, the main battery is in guard, engaged against the third rate. This isn't looking good. Ooh, and there are more hits. But the third rate is finally engaging with most of its main gun armament right here. Though the fire isn't that accurate. Oh, they did take out the front of the ironclad. That is a serious blow. And if just a few more hits, and this thing may capsize, because this ironclad is prone to capsizing. Uh oh, is there going to be some friendly fire right here? No, but there is going to be their scatter gun. The sloop seems to have mis misjudged and fired its uh, cannon high. What about the ironclad? It is firing on the sloop. Oh, critical damage taken by the sloop. That that put the front of the ship out of action, but the ship's still firing. However, uh, the the frigate has been mostly crippled right here. I'm surprised it's still floating. 
This, this side really kind of crippled itself by hitting its own frigate. That's kind of a game room moment right there. And now that this one has completely lost all propulsion, it is a floating husk, and it can't even train its main guns. It has to only use the chase cannons. Oh, and the scatter guns are here. Great. The cargo sloop actually seems to be going for a flanking maneuver. It's mostly undamaged. I think they've assumed that the cargo sloop has been, like, the least of a threat, and they have ignored it. Now they're coming around on its exposed flank of the ironclad. However, they're going to expose themselves to battery fire from the other side of the ironclad. This is not smart for them. One volley from the ironclad could take out this cargo sloop. But they did snipe one of the cannon. Oh, and that's it for the ironclad. It's going to capsize now. Because once that part is hit, there's no real save in the ship there. Yep, there it goes. Just in time, too. Its guns were about to fire on the cargo sloop. Only thing left is their frigate. <laughs> There's not much left for that, either. What was that trying? Where was that cannonball going? I think this one has lost its detection. Yes, this ship has lost its detection. It cannot fire accurately. Alright, well I think the, uh, the or, um, three ship side is winning in here, so I deleted them. Alright, here, here's one thing. I want to see another matchup. Two ironclads. Two other ironclads. They're not the same type of ironclad. Versus this, the Undoubtable. Which is the largest age of sail ship I have built. So this massive behemoth of, of cannon fire right here. Versus these two ironclads. Let's see who wins. Oh, it fired its verse of Ollie High. Uh, this ship isn't doing good at exposing its armaments to fire on the enemy properly. And now it took a, a load of shell on the back. However, this thing does have a lot of speed, which is one thing I didn't expect it to. Quite the fast ship. And now it's unleashed a broadside, but will it do anything? Oh yes, there are definitely hits, although they didn't do too much to the armor of this ship right here. Now, are, the main batteries are firing. This ship's actually managing to bounce most of the enemy shells off. Even though it's only wooden armor. I think the reason for that is they don't have inertial shells. But the ship is taking hits from the chase guns. Oh, was that volley going to do anything? No, only one of the shots was accurate. But they did knock out one gun on this ironclad. There's only one gun left. Are they firing? Are they going to fire? I thought they had a short- oh. Yeah, they seem to be bouncing. Here, um... Let's wipe out these ships. I have something I want to try. I'm gonna try working with those ironclads and changing them a bit. Wait, that ship's not dead? What do you mean it's not dead? You bleed it. So I'll spawn one of these in again on my team, but I'm gonna prevent it from firing on the enemy. And this time, let's work with this. Access intakes. So it's HE and frag. I think this time we'll replace this with an inertial fuse. And then we'll clear clips. 
Release the sign. Exit. Clear clips. And clear clips. So let's catch up. Uh, let's see how fast this, this one can go. Let's see how fast we can go here. We took out that. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to snipe out their propulsion. Prevent them from escaping, and then I'll test how much damage uh, the proper guns of the Ironclad can do. So if we had a point-blank sort of broadside using this, it would be slower velocity shells, but with HE that doesn't matter as much. Yeah, that, that ripped a pretty decent hole. I think it fires slightly faster too. Yes, that is very, very much more effective than I first thought it would be. Although now there is a cooldown. How many shells can this hold? Oh, it can only load six shells. Alright. That is something I didn't take into account. The cooldown may be better on the gun, but it doesn't have as much uh, shell space. Ooh, yeah, that, that tore a good chunk of damage right there. What if we hold it under the water line? Oh, I think we may have hit some ammo. Oh, we hit its engines. What about a shot at AI? Can we get a shot at its AI? Nope. Uh, this gun is not reloading. Can it not fire? No internal ammo. I think there's plenty of internal ammo. I don't know about you. Hmm. Either way, I'm still saving the design. Because the inertial fuse really helps. Yeah, let me grab another one of these. They are messy though. Do I have a napkin? That's not a napkin. What's the sail raft? Hey Spooky, welcome back. I don't know if you left though. Oh, this is a little sail raft right here. Oh, it's so cute, look at it. <laughs> so cute. Let's have a fight with these. I want these to fight. Here, we'll have three sail rafts against each other. Are they controlled by weapons? Yes, they are. Well, I want these to fight. <laughs> Battle of the century right here. Alright. Uh, which side will win? Let's see. We're gonna have... Oh, there's some shots. Although these can cannons don't have much angle of fire. Not the most accurate. We almost had a hit. They're trying their best. Oh, 
Nom nom nom, as we said. One ship had its detection knocked out. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know if these ships know what they're doing here. A hundred years later. A hundred years later. They're, they're doing their best. Here, let me control one of my own. I bet I could destroy him. Where's mine? Alright, let's do it. Let's fire on the enemy. Come on, fire. You know, we don't even need sails. Take out our sails. We don't need them. Where's my raft? We can do this ourselves. Full speed ahead with our tiny propeller. I love how uh, firing of the guns completely kills any momentum we have. Are we making any speed? Oh shoot, that made us flip underwater. What if I replace the lead on the bottom? There we go, this is a bit better. No, it's not. Oh, it's because this is still in here. Um, how about we set this up to 0.5? There we go, this is more manageable. There's still no damage. Actually, no, one of the enemy ships was destroyed. Let's, let's finish it. Oh, we didn't get, get any hits that time. Oh, it seems we have received a hit on our end. I think this battle's gonna I'm gonna end this battle before it gets too long. Yeah. Too small. Too small. Now do we have the galleys? Where are the galleys? Aquarius class galley. Yep, alright, so let's save it in the Age of Sail area. We'll have three galleys. And then three enemy galleys. And let's fight. They only have one cannon on the front. They're mainly ramming ships. Like ra melee ships that have uh, people like fighting on their decks. Like kind of like the Greek sailing ships, I guess. But they do have little chase guns. These cannonballs are pretty inaccurate. I'm going to get down below deck just to protect myself. Almost got a hit right there. There we go. We hit the ram straight on. Ooh, we knocked out some of their ores on that side. Yeah, that's it. Targeted fire. Alright, we're getting close to melee range. 
Oh god, uh, we've had attack. Oh god, I'm, 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 my ship has been <laughs> knocked over. Oh no. Alright, I've boarded an enemy ship. Blow it up. Ah, I'm getting blown off of the side of the ship. You can't tell which one is which. This is an enemy ship. Blow it to hell. <laughs> AI, get the AI. Yeah, we got it. What about this one? Enemy, enemy, get it. <laughs> There we go, we got it. Is that one ours? That one's ours. Wait, is this one ours? Yeah, this one is the enemy. Get it. Get him. And I killed myself. I love how if you're just slightly brushing it against the block when you click it, you instantly die. No, don't heal. I think I accidentally damaged my own ship there. There we go. Got it. Now they're just drifting off. Uh, we have a- actually, did the mine layer brig ever do anything? I remember building this, but I think it was the odd one out. Because, instead of having cannon, it had a few cannon, but it also had just a bunch of these m mine launchers. So I have- if I have this ship in combat, what if we set it in combat against an, just an enemy ship here? Why is the Charlotte in here? The Charlotte isn't an old ship. Uh, I have to go through this later. Let's have it versus the sloop. So we're launching our cannon, but they're not really doing much. Because the enemy's straight ahead. Do these have identify friend or foes on them? Yeah, our own bombs are hitting us. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Well, I want to fix this. So, where where is the origination for this? Yeah, they have identified friend or foe. Let me look this up. I may post another stream highlight later. Uh, Google doesn't know what I'm searching. Why does it not? I think I know a fix. Let me look. What are, What is the primary payload? No, oh, this isn't good. So it's a magnet and a warhead. Dang it. But yeah, because no one's watching. Again, I thought um, King would be watching, but I guess not. You know, I'll fix that later. I don't care right now. 
Again, why is everything saved under here? One other thing, I'm gonna spawn a bunch of my ironclads. I wanna compare the size of these ironclads. So, of the three ironclads I've built, this one's the oldest, this one's the second oldest, this one's the third oldest. Actually, let me replace this one in the middle. Where's the AP? There it is. So these are the three ironclads. This one is probably the most destructive in its armament. However, well, like with a full broadside. However, it explodes violently. Uh, this one will completely annihilate itself if it's hit by the slightest touch. Which is weird because you'd think an ironclad is meant to be protected. But this thing has barely any protection, like at all. I don't know why I made it so weakly armored. It's because there's no nothing under the ship, it's just a platform. That's what I didn't understand. I, 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 I understood the general shape of an ironclad, but I didn't do much with it. This one I learned a little bit better. This one's designed around the USS Monitor, but it has a modern turret instead of the Union turret. So, it does have a small gun on the back. But the, these um, large guns right here are very powerful, but they're its only main armament. But then this is the most recent ironclad. This one's based on the CSS Virginia, but it's a scaled down version of it. Kind of a upgraded, or just a redesigned thought of this, where it actually has a hole under the water, but um, a walkable one at that. However, yeah, it's, it, it's the weakest armed. He said, hmm, I'm lost in ship names. Uh, in the American Civil War, there was a battle called the Battle of Hampton Roads between the Union Ironclad Monitor and the, um, and the Confederate Ironclad Virginia. The Virginia looked somewhat like this, but a little bit scaled up, but it mainly had like a bunch of casemate guns like this stuck in a specific angle. Well, the uh, Union Monitor looked sort of like this, but much different. <laughs> but it had a small turret for two guns to stick out of. And basically, I do recommend the Truck NFL video about the two ironclads. It's pretty long, but it's pretty entertaining. Let me look it up. Truck NFL Hampton Roads. I wonder if I can post links in chat. If so, I'll post a link for it. Alright, I post it. I don't know if it shows up for anyone. And again, it's a long video, so I don't recommend anyone watch if they don't want to. But it kind of explains the situations that these two navies were put in when designing their ironclads. And the guy who does it, he has like a dry British sense of humor, which I like. Anyway, yeah, it's like 30 minutes long, a little more than that. So let me just show you how fragile this ironclad on the left is. What if I go, I'll go to the farthest away one. Uh, goodbye. Well, let, let's watch the explosion first. Before you go, uh, let's watch this beautiful explosion. If I aim all guns at that ironclad. And I missed. We'll use this one instead. I think it quit hitting me. Alright, there we go. Nope, that didn't do it either. Please, please, while people are watching. There we go. <laughs> Shower of sparks. Now these shells are going to start raining back down. Will they hit anything? Almost. But they are very explosive. Let's finish it off. There we go. Oh, yep, yeah, one of their shots hit us. Yeah, this ironclad, if, don't get too close to it, because it will damage you if you damage it. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, another shell rained down and hit this one. Oof. Alright, well, I'll see you guys, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of going to end the stream here, since uh, King left. I'll see you guys on the next stream. Either Holdfast or Minecraft, I can't tell which. We'll see.
Probably won't be tonight, though. Oh, maybe. Maybe it'll be tonight. Just keep a lookout. I don't know. See y'all.